Hey guys, William Fletcher here from authoritypower.com. And today is an inspiration post. Um, I was on the daily blog tips blog and they had a post that said nine steps to create a great newsletter signup page. And so today I wanted to go about talking about that and how you can focus on getting more subscribers for your blog. And guys, having a loyal email list is something that is so important to successful blogging. Uh, and it starts from getting traffic to your blog all the way to monetizing and selling products and affiliate products and having a big list of active people, of uh, loyal people can mean a lot for your blog. So it's something that we've prior to prioritize very high for our blogs and I recommend that you do the same and uh like I said I this inspiration came from the daily blog tips blog and I'm going to cover some of the items that they mentioned in the post and kind of give you my spin on them so you know basically it it starts with funneling people to the page on your blog that is going to get them to sign up now sometimes it may just be on the sidebar of your site. It may just be an opt-in box on the sidebar, or it may be an opt-in box below your post. But other times, it's going to be a squeeze page that is set up to function uh, to exactly get them to sign up for your email list. That's the only function it's serving, is to get them to join your email list. And that's kind of what they top cover in uh, point number one, which is, understanding the goal of the page and you know if we want to get people to to subscribe to our blog then yes that's very important we need to know the goal of that page and make sure that it's focusing on getting them to subscribe the next point they cover in this blog post is using simple layouts and you know that's exactly what a squeeze page is a squeeze page isn't supposed to be really detailed it isn't supposed to be you know, uh, providing a ton of information, it is there to spark enough interest to get them to sign up for your email. One topic that they cover on here that I think is so important is uh, getting rid of the navigation. And a lot of people don't do this on their squeeze pages, and I think a lot of people miss out because when you only give a person one option, they're more likely to take action and do it. So. If on your blog uh, uh, squeeze page, you're trying to get them to sign up for your mailing list and you're providing that option, but you're also giving them navigation links at the top of your site where they can get back to your home page or back to your blog or back to your blog, it makes it much easier for them to just click off of that page than if you didn't have those navigation links there. Uh, it sounds crazy. They could just hit the back button. Uh, in their browser, but having those navigation links there makes it much easier and it, it will decre decrease your conversions if you leave them on there. One point that they mentioned was including trust elements, and this is very important. Uh, this, would, this would be your social proof, uh, something like a testimonial or as seen on type of stuff. And, you know, that's going to convert more people because. It shows that other people have trust in you. Other people believe in you, and that's going to make your conversions go up a lot. And guys, like I said, I'm just going to cover some of the things that they hit in the post. Uh, like I said, they did cover nine points, but, you know, this stuff is so important and something that, that you need to, to get into because having subscribers to your mailing list is so, so important. Uh, it can give you traffic, it can make for lifelong customers, and it's how you build your relationship with your audience. And building that relationship and building that trust is how we make money with a blog.